Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect Blind. I'm your host, Lasan Fay, and here before us, we have Commander Shepard. Um, so, last time we woke up after being knocked out on Eden Prime, which we got knocked out because of reasons. I have no idea what's in here, so I'm just checking. Um, Nothing there. Oh, good. Got nothing from that. Um, anyways, beacon blew up. The beacon that we were supposed to protect and keep safe. Um, but we're back on the Normandy, so I'm gonna say hi to people. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and... I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. It doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. I couldn't have done it without you. Yeah. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Much as I think Jenkins was an idiot, he will be missed. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. Yeah. I've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. <laughs> Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? Yeah, something similar. I was a regular Navy brat. I got a little more noteworthy than the folks expected. Oh, that's right, a coos. I imagine that bought you any post in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? Um... Let's talk to the Council. The Captain hopes the Ambassador can get an audience with the Council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. Okay. So that's you, Happy. Alright. Let's see here. Doctor! Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? What do you know about Captain Anderson? Yeah. I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. Okay. And... Caden. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. Um, what? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Whoa. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? That's certain. I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. 
But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. Okay. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Alright. And... Ashley! I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Yeah. He'll be missed, that's what I'm gonna keep saying. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of um. me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. Hey, you earned your right to be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Alright, let's just check in with you. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. Hey, you also helped out. Like, you did your fair share. You got knocked out as well. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Hey, I'm actually legitimately glad to have you. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. Yay. So, where am I? Okay, there's the elevator. Those stairs go up. That was the, um... Med bay. Dead end. You two don't say anything. Just gonna sprint a tad. What's over here? Yep, sorry about that. Needed to move my mouse around. Ah, this is your room. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. Great. Okay. the stairs or take the elevator um what's at the top of the stairs i get that i'm on the first floor ftl some kind of entry. Interesting that they still call them codex entries because they don't actually make codices anymore. Okay, those are stairs that just go back down. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the crew. Okay, and there's a galaxy map that I can't open. Lovely. I know Joker's, like, way over there, up there. So, obviously the elevator doesn't come up here. You know, it'd be useful if... There's, like, map? Ah, map! To deck three. Deck one. Okay, so, yep, I was right about the sleeping pods, the captain's office. <sighs> I should probably be more aware of 
map things. Nice! Actual animation. So those are the doors. Okay, what's in here first? People's lockers! Okay, so I can target a member's locker to change their equipment. This is probably where we jumped from. This thing. The Mako. Mako? Mako? I don't know. This is why I rage quit Mass Effect the first time I ever attempted to play it. Was trying to drive that thing. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What, what have you, you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Fair. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell I mean, licenses. Obviously. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Worthwhile. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. Okay. How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And any time we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Okay. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. Okay. All right. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Heavy armor. Medium armor. Light armor. For what? What is the currency here? Credits? Oh, things I probably don't need um, to think about. Um, might be worthwhile? I don't know. This probably isn't a huge thing I have to worry about at the moment. Um, but I can sell things. <laughs> I have so many of the Kesslers. Can I at least make... That's... 11 of whatever the currency is. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go through this eventually, but not right now. Right now, I want to explore. Because I didn't really explore when I was down here um, the first time I played. Because I didn't realize I could get down here. Okay. Shame about Jenkins. <sighs> yes, and everyone keeps reminding me about him. I'd really rather not think about it too much. Okay. Activate. I do. This is a very efficient elevator. You walk in, and you face the way that you're going to walk off. Like, props to whoever did that. Alright. So, now I'm back up here.
still can't open that galaxy map. I'm sure I'll figure that out here in a bit. Probably like KOTOR. Where that essentially decides where I'm going. And I still can't get in here. Why? Probably because it's not needed. Okay. All of these chairs are empty, except for yours. Good job. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy out. Lovely. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Smooth docking. Good job, Joker. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Lovely. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Oh, great. That means he's even more dangerous than expected. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. Oh, good. And that's why I hate politicians. <laughs> you and me both. Press M to access the map. This is where we are. I love it. I can kind of track where I want to go. Well, is there anything over there? Also, where is this? Oh, what? OK. 
Okay. Okay, so... I, I still don't know how I got to the quest menu. Alright, there's an Emporium. That's where I want to go. Okay. This place is a little too perfect. Like they're hiding something. Of course it is. Big place. Useful. There we go. Alliance Patrol Report. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Row Cluster. She had a particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send a recon team? Okay. Nothing there. These must be... I understand what you're saying, but these allegations are very serious. I can't just... This is serious. My reputation is at stake. I spoke with the consul in confidence, and her alone, and she betrayed that confidence. All right. I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem okay. distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Uh, what? Who? Who's this Asari consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Sha'ira, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find her? Where can I find the Sasari consort? Of course. She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Pleased greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Uh... Tell me more about your species. Okay, the Alcorn. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Okay. Culture. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Alcor. Frankly. We Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly. Within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, wow. and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Okay. What do you do here? I see. Modestly. 
I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Okay. What's up with your speech? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that, and if you do, I am very sorry for you. Alright, thank you. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Can I talk to you? Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. <laughs> Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Why are you cranky? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Bolus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Well, we don't really either. Okay. But what are you guys? I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Well, go ahead. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable. And our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. And history? Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel, and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Okay. Goodbye, Ambassador. It makes sense. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. What are you? Nothing I can interact with. Well, we're gonna go this way. Can't go that way. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be your guide. Greetings, sure. and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Uh... Okay. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Interesting. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. 
On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Okay. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Okay. Um... Embassies? Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. Useful. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. Wow. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Wow. That Volos actually has pretty decent reason to be pissed. Okay. Um, because they were there at the founding, but I'll go ahead and ask. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They mm -hmm. often provide economic aid in times of disaster. Yep. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. Yep, because he said himself that they are not physically um, capable of helping maintain defense. That's pretty damn arrogant. I apologize if my personality has offended you. Please <laughs> submit all formal complaints in writing to the Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board. Okay. Why was humanity opposed? Do I can probably figure out the reason? It's because we're young. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. What exactly do you think, or what does your programmer think? Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Fair. Um... Do you know anything about specters? The term specter is derived from the branch of special tactics and reconnaissance. Each specter agent is handpicked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. And the Council? What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. Interesting. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. 
I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Okay, that's it. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Alright, so this is a good place to end this episode. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. And in the meantime, in between time, take care, have fun, happy trails. <laughs>